Well, let's forget for a minute what NFT stands for. Even the artist I spoke to, the one behind this artwork behind me, said he didn't fully grasp it when he started four years ago. Working under the pseudonym Big Comic Art, he asked me not to reveal his identity. You know, oh, I love your artwork. Let me give you $5, all right? And then it was $10, and then it was $50, and then it was $50,000, you know? Big Comic Art has been painting for over 25 years. Rather than selling his work at galleries to a limited number of potential collectors, his digital art is now for sale on multiple crypto art websites for anyone around the world to purchase. The more you get into it, the more it makes sense. Digital art has been ripped off for years. Google makes it easy to find and, well, steal. Selling work on what's known as the blockchain using cryptocurrency makes it possible for someone to actually own the art and even put it on display. And so these digital screens sort of turn into digital paintings. Screens could also be televisions, like Samsung's frame. Some are moving images, some are portraits and paintings. Right now, most are expensive. Some of Big Comic Art's work, this one called 2021, goes for over $37,000. He told me this crypto art NFT technology is great for collectors and creators. Through this technology, people were paying rent, surviving, um, sharing their artwork with the world. How do you buy crypto art? Turns out it isn't as easy as it should be. I'll show you next time. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.